Despite pleas by the leaders of Britain, Germany, and France, the Trump administration has given no indication that it will exempt their banks and businesses from new sanctions, which could make it impossible for European countries to stay in the agreement. In a statement issued by French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and British Prime Minister Theresa May, the European leaders expressed regret over Trump's action, stated that this agreement remains important for our shared security, and pledged their continued commitment to it. Meanwhile, even while Bolton was announcing new sanctions, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani insisted that his government is also still committed to the nuclear deal. If in the short term, we conclude we can achieve what we want from the agreement, it will survive, he said in a televised address. In his remarks Tuesday, Bolton left little doubt that the administration was reinstituting those crippling financial sanctions, and he gave no indication that the administration would offer exemptions to banks and corporations from allied countries. Well, the decision that the president signed today puts sanctions back in place that existed at the time of the deal, it puts them in place immediately, Bolton told reporters. Now what that means is that within the zone of economics covered by the sanctions, no new contracts are permitted. Treasury will be announcing what they call wind-down provisions that will deal with existing contracts. And there will be varying periods within these contracts to be wound down. Some will extend up to six months, some might be 90 days. As a former senior Treasury Department official, Juan Zarati helped design the sanctions regime that proved so effective in isolating Iran. If the Trump administration reinstates it, he doubts that Britain, France, or Germany will be able to maintain the economic engagement at the core of the Iran nuclear agreement. The reason the Iran sanctions worked so much better than three decades of sanctions that came before was that the Treasury Department demonstrated that the risk of doing business with Iran was simply too high for legitimate businesses, he told News Pulse News in a recent interview. Even if the Trump administration was willing to exempt some allied companies from the new sanctions, an environment in which the United States is imposing sanctions again will make it very uncomfortable for any legitimate company to continue doing business with Tehran. A sanctioned Iran will just inherently have trouble continuing to reintegrate into the global financial system. Philip Gordon of the Council on Foreign Relations, CFR, helped negotiate the Iran agreement for the Obama administration. He also believes the lifting of U.S. sanctions was such a core part of the deal that it's not likely to survive a new sanctions regime. Iran and other countries could continue to implement the deal even if the United States is out, but it's hard to imagine that scenario lasting for long, as it would effectively deny Iran the main benefits it was promised in exchange for freezing its nuclear program, he said in a recent written interview on the CFR website. James Kitfield is senior fellow at the Center for the Study of the Presidency and Congress and the author of the recent book, Twilight Warriors, The Soldiers, Spies, and Special Agents Who Are Revolutionizing the American Way of War, Basic Books.